Greetings, my name is Joe Bustillos. I'm the course director this month for LMO, Learning Management Systems and Organization. And this video is a quick run through of the FSO platform, a little uh, view of the back end administrative work. Here we have the dashboard, something you're kind of familiar with, and the activities tab shows you all of the activities, current and future and past. Let's um, switch over to my Safari browser, which is most comfortable with the administrative end of FSO. And when, uh, after the login, it drops you into actually the very first course that um, I had um, in this. And we have uh, past courses that um, I've been a part of. And then there's some future courses. And then what we're most interested in is our current course. So let's drop into that right now. And as you can see, it's uh, here's our little gradings tab. We have announcements tab, discussions tab. The gradings tab shows me um, people who have already clicked on the, uh, gone to FSO and clicked on it and turned in some work. And what you're probably most interested in is our little setup tab over here. And this basically is just a rundown of all the assignments, lessons, which are usually the videos, and the discussion boards. And as you can see here, we've got a push and a pull date. Uh, push date being the first day we wanted to make it available. Last date we want to make it available. One thing that we're trying to go for is we want the push and pull date. Um, and then we also want a, a third date, which would be the due date. Because a lot of times, one of the things here is that I could make the pull date to be the, the due date, but then human nature being what it is, uh, a certain majority or a certain number of students will not make the due date and then consequently it forces me the instructor to make exceptions complicating the job a little bit it'd be much more much easier if we just uh, had a, a field for a due date which was not a pull date so there you go and then the weight of the course how much it is out of the hundred uh, percent credit in the course let's go to uh, turn any recard and so I could remove it and this little guy here I could move it up and down in the order that it appears in the activities um, display. So this, this determines which which is first and then down, going all the way down to here which is last. And then also the push pull days have a little bit of an influence also. The pencil is the edit and we go inside and that's not what I wanted to look at. That's kind of boring. That's the videos. Let's look at uh, this one right here. So we have the name of that particular assignment and then we have the text box in here and then we have a little Java application here where this is where I could go ahead and grab PDFs and other um, resources that I want you, I would want you to go ahead and be able to click on and download. This is what this is uh, mostly for. And then I'm going to open this up just a little bit. And we, did, we discovered right away um, this little text box here was originally um, limited in its character length. And you can see we've got a, um, a little bit of rich text with the uh, bold faced italic and underline, but it, it seems right away that one of the powers of this little text box was that we are able to deliver things such as videos and live links in this using this text box, which uh, makes it very, very powerful. And some have also um, kind of looked into uh, being able to deliver whole pages that are actually running on other platforms. And that's kind of a neat thing. One of the, the values of this is obviously uh, the belief that online learning is not just uh, taking a PDF and throwing it up on the internet, but also allowing you guys to interact with some of the uh, materials and to make it a much more rich media experience. So that is a quick look at the back end of FSO, and I will talk to you later.